to find the pearl. I see, I see. You know what I like about you guys? You're just so chill. Not like Janice. I have never met a man so full of bile. I mean, I'm just trying to help him, and he's behaving like a complete ass. All right, I better go. You know, it's... Oh, no way. Sitting there most of the day. I don't know what he's reading, but it looks like it's the most interesting thing he's ever come across. The new Cassandra Snow novel, maybe. Slivers of past shimmers, or something like that. See, my wife's reading it now. I can't get her to do anything around the house. No, no, it's not a novel. I think it's a, a journal or a, or a diary. He's one of the security people working over at that old Russian guy's house. It's got to be something from the old man's archives. Oh. If that's one of Janus's diaries, it might contain some important information about his past. Our past. Or maybe something that can help us locate the Constant. One of Janus's many diaries. He's apparently been the chairman of the Ark Society for years. He stepped down very recently, but is still attached to the Society. Well, 47, this is valuable information. I've seen that Janice's oddball nurse is at it again. Oh, yeah, the bird guy. Did he come early? Whatever it is that sort of thing uses. I'm sure he'd be delighted to lend you something. That's very good. Back in the day, Thank Janus you. was.
known for his obsessive need to archive and keep memorabilia. If he has any microfilm in his house, it might contain something interesting. Sorry, no nurses allowed. Say, wouldn't you like to come out to the stand and join us, giving away all these wonderful muffins? Oh, I'd love to, my darling, but I've got to do some sewing. Janus has a dressing gown that needs a few touch-ups, and he's getting anxious. Apparently, he needs it for something soon. You seem to have so a many things for going on, West. What could he need I don't that know for? How you find the time? Well, when you're retired, you can get an astonishing amount of things done. ceremonial robe of some sort with a note from Janus attached. Hmm. The note is interesting. Janus has asked Helen to do a few repairs on the robe before he leaves for his annual trip. He even put a date there. This is valuable information, 47. just confiscate my property. I need it to get rid of an aggressively invasive mole in this poor old man's backyard. Calm down, demolition man. Unless it's a flesh-eating mutant mole, you don't need explosives. One of Janus's gardeners has decided to clear a series of mole tunnels using explosives. I applaud his enthusiasm, but sadly, local police have confiscated his equipment. If you were to find it, 47, it might be the perfect way to rid the world of Janus.
the first annual gathering of the Ark Society. Hmm, that rings a bell. If Janus was its founder, perhaps he's still attending these gatherings, 47. This could be valuable information indeed. Janus's old micro films. It might contain important information. All you need now is to find a device to read it on. She's fine. All clear. Clearly, Janus is a meticulous man. This microfilm contains a lot of heavily redacted minutes from what appears to be a yearly event of some sort. Plenty of initials and project code names that don't ring any bells. Janus is mentioned by name throughout, however. This is a very important find, 47. Good work, 47. We now know Janus is meeting with a constant at an event related to the Ark Society. And we have an approximate date as well. I think that's all we're going to get. We're close to the finish line. It's time to end this. Lovely day. is looking for an old group photo. It might be interesting to see who's on it.
Where's Lafayette? He's not well. Jesus, Hopefully get out it's something of my serious. I wouldn't mind if Lafayette was replaced permanently. He's an insufferable bore with a room temperature IQ. But if you're the new guy, you'll need to be on time. I have a busy schedule, you know. You have a very distinct face, my friend. <sighs> so, back to this. What do you think you're doing? Oof, you need shoes. to take at least two Function steps Function over back. fashion, I guess. <sighs> so, back to this thing. I'll just spend a few minutes with the inhaler to fill my system with as much oxygen as possible before we proceed to the bathroom for the health check itself. Well, while Mr. Janus fills his lungs, I'd like a quick word with you. Please, come with me. All right, new guy. I know this looks like a relaxed operation, but I run a tight ship. Nobody gets alone time with Janice unless I know them, and I don't know you. So here's what I'll do. I'm going downstairs to run a security check on you. It should only be a few minutes. In the meantime, you wait in the study. We'll lock the doors and my men will make sure you don't accidentally wander off. I'm sure you understand. Please, wait in there. 47, you have to find a way out of there. I can't possibly construct a viable ID for you in time. I'll have Miss Hall remotely interfere with their search, but we can't keep it up for long. Well, that was certainly an interesting turn of events. Still, no rest for the wicked, 47. You could probably slip back inside and give Janus his health check while his bodyguard is busy. Just be mindful of the patrolling guards. I'm back. I suggest we go to the bathroom now. All right. Let's go, then. Nicely done, 47. It's time for Janus to pay for his crimes. You know, you remind me of someone I met a long time ago. A young boy in Romania. Tell me more about this boy. Ah, the boy. I remember his eyes better than anything. Ice cold, defiant. Maybe it was the nature of the project itself that led me to dislike him, but I felt nothing but disappointment when I looked at him. What a waste of resources. Project? What project? <laughs> it was all based on one madman's pipe dream. Create an army of super soldiers through genetic manipulation. Somehow, he had managed to impress my superiors, and they had provided him with effectively endless resources to be wasted on foolish ideas and experiments. The project was idiotic. The subjects were erratic, unreliable. Why build an army of reckless super-soldiers when a handful 
of well-placed spies can do so much more for your cause. What became of him? Oh, I don't know. Dead, I assume. In the end, we had his mind wiped. All the boys underwent the same treatment. I didn't follow the subsequent cleanup process, but from what I understand, the doctor and everyone else associated with the project is long gone. I see. Yes, well, enough reminiscing. Are you about done here? Almost done. Yes. At last, the actions of the first constant catch up with you. Death feels like an easy way out for a man like James. Still. We are close now, gentlemen. Both targets are dead. All mission objectives are completed. 47, once you've left Whittleton Creek, I will notify Providence of our discovery. In the meantime, we'll go over the clues you found. Once we've located the constant, we'll make our final move. You make it sound so easy. Society, one of Providence's more obscure outfits. I've heard whispers. A survivalist club for the global elite, billionaires preparing for a global collapse. And now we know the Constant will attend their next gathering. So where is it? That's the catch. The report is redacted, no names, no location. So it's a dead end. I can't track them, not without ICA backup. Now, I'm no big shot analyst, but it seems to me Janus was the Ark Society's founder, so chances are they'll want to pay their respects in private. Track the coffin. Worth a shot. You are right? It comes back in flashes. Fear, anger, but... Like it happened to someone else. <laughs> your gift and your curse. What they did to you. Well, I spent a long time feeling guilty about that. Now, I wonder who got the better deal. Yes. Found something. What are we looking at? The ass end of nowhere. But this is where Janus's remains were shipped to. Our choice for a final resting place, wouldn't you say? Not bad. So we stake it out. Await the next gathering. Then we waltz in and kidnap one of the world's most powerful men. Without ICA backup. Like I said, it's a long shot. We'll take it. about to join him. And a cornered animal is twice as dangerous. 
Let's be perfectly clear. We were not exposed. The threat is neutralized. We are back on track. Even so, from this point on, we expect you to take- No, there is no way I'm doing that. How can you question my loyalty? In case treachery is contagious. Do you really want to do this to me? Is there a problem, Secretary? No problem whatsoever, Madam. Here's to loyalty. My man on the island confirms that the Constant has arrived. We head out at sundown. Here, in case the crew get ideas. Why are you doing this, Mr. Gray? You had a chance to walk away. Why didn't you? A year ago, I'm working security for this banker, Cobb. Only to find out he's a Providence operative. I've been running for decades, only to wind up where I started. We've all got barcodes on the back of our heads. Most people just never notice. 47 told me about your parents. How did they die? Car bomb. Surrey, 1989. Company named Blue Seed didn't care to pay for their mistakes. But I like to think no one's untouchable. I'm... I'm sorry for your loss. You feel it, don't you? Unlike him, you feel it all. Everything you've done. It's a dangerous thing, having a conscience. Attention, gentlemen. Our source on the island just made a critical discovery. The Constant has a poison chip embedded in his neck. A failsafe in case he's compromised. Damn it. Uh, we should have expected something like this. So, we subdue the Constant before he has time to react. Not that simple. The device is remote triggered, and during his stay on the island, two kill switches have been entrusted to twin sisters, Zoe and Sophia Washington, two young, ambitious Providence operatives and newly appointed chairwomen of the Ark Society. Apparently, even the Constant is unaware of this arrangement. Right, change of plans. We divide and conquer. 47 takes out the Washingtons while I figure out a way to get the Constant off the island. It'll be tight, but once we're back at the ship, we should be able to surgically remove the chip before the partners have time to react. 47? Tell me about the targets. I know them from the archive. Zoe and Sophia's father is president of a powerful conservative think tank one of Providence's prime assets. The apples don't fall far from the tree. No saints either. According to ICA files, the twins are pampered socialites who get their kicks from treasure hunting. Commanding a band of trigger-happy mercenaries, Zoe and Sophia prowl the world in search for ancient relics. With little regard for local culture or even human life, they stop at nothing to claim their prize. Well, collateral damage they may be, but safe to say, they have it coming. The Isle of Scale, headquarters of the Ark Society. 
Founded by Janus in 1991, the Arp Society is the world's most exclusive club. Its plutocratic members fear the downfall of civilization, and they are willing to pay huge sums to ensure their own survival. Once a year, they gather here to shop the latest survival products and to showcase new initiatives and breakthroughs. Right. These gatherings are shrouded in mystery, so we have limited intel on what to expect on the other side of the walls. The Washington Twins are hosting their first annual gathering as chairwomen of the Ark Society, and the Constant is known to attend every year. Beyond that, you're on your own. Good luck, gentlemen. I dare say you're going to need it. space and council meeting. Should you wish to apply for art membership, please be aware that such cannot be bought, only earned. All set? Excellent. Follow me, please. <laughs> 